This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2019. To achieve good stability, the glenohumeral joint requires a delicate balance of bony anatomy, connective tissue support, and muscular control. But some individuals are plagued by recurrent anterior or posterior shoulder instability. These types of instability have a large impact on the patient's quality of life and often require one or more surgical interventions. The shape of the shoulder socket, or glenoid, is known to contribute to recurrent shoulder instability, but does the architecture of the bony roof of the glenohumeral joint, called the acromion, also play a role? Orthopedic researchers in Switzerland performed an observational study to find out. They matched 41 shoulders with recurrent unidirectional anterior shoulder instability with 41 shoulders with recurrent unidirectional posterior instability in order to compare their posterior acromial morphology in the sagittal plane. There were also 53 control shoulders that had no history of instability. Radiographic measurements were taken and correlated with the type of instability and compared to the controls. They found that posterior acromial morphology did correlate with the direction of shoulder instability. Posterior instability was significantly associated with a higher and more horizontally oriented acromion, and a steep acromion virtually excluded shoulders from the posterior instability group. The height of the posterior acromion was the factor that differentiated the most between posterior and anterior instability. In fact, if the posterior acromial height exceeded 23 millimeters, the odds ratio of having posterior instability was 39. It was hypothesized that an acromion that is situated higher and is oriented more horizontally provides less posterior restraint on the humeral head. Acromial morphology is associated with the type of glenohumeral instability. The acromion is situated higher and oriented more horizontal in posterior than in both anterior instability and in healthy shoulders. These results warrant further study to determine what relevance acromial morphology has in the treatment of posterior instability.